hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error with the game on your windows computer now the first step is to disable integrated graphic cards so if your computer has a dual graphic card so you can make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager expand display adapter now over here if you have integrated intel or amd graphic card so you can disable this the integrated graphic card you can make a right click and then you can click on disable device now once you disable it now you can launch the game and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you next step is to restore global settings in nvidia control panel now for this you can go to desktop make a right click on the desktop and then click on show more option then click on nvidia control panel now once nvidia control panel is open uh, you can go to manage 3d settings So go to manage 3D settings. Once you click on it, here you can see restore option. Click on restore, click on yes. And once this is done, now hit apply. And then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to unplug. If you have multiple monitor setup, you can unplug all the multiple monitor and just keep the primary monitor connected and then check. Now, if you if you are facing this problem with primary monitor, in that case you can uh, plug in the second monitor and then check. So you can try first of all unplug all the uh, multiple monitor and then check if you have the single monitor, primary monitor is still you are facing the problem. You can connect the second monitor and then check. Next step is to you can try this in launch launch option. So you can copy this command. This command this command is provided in the video description. Copy it and then make a right click on the game on steam and then go to properties in the launch option you can type in this close this launch the game and then check this has also worked for many players still not working then you can disable hdr in launch option so you can just make a right click once again go to properties and this time you can just try this one and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option if that does not work you can type in dash dx11 launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card drive so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive go to c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder open the game folder select the game exe file and then you can click on add click on add desktop app once again and then check first of all when, once you launch uh, add the game over here scroll down and find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game over here and over here you can see gp preference set it to high performance you will see your graphic card over here and then you can launch the game and check if there is any other exe file so if you find any exe file like in any other folder i think that's the only exe file this is the only exe file i think 
Now the next step is to roll back graphics driver. Now if the latest one is not working in that case uh, you can select your graphic card over here once again. Make sure that you select your graphic card right operating system and then click on find. And then scroll down and then click on view more versions. And now for many user 572.83 has worked. You can try this. You, so you can click on view, download it, install it. But when you install it, then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer. Restart is a must. If that does not work, in that case, you can try a different version. 576. The latest one is 576.40. If this is not working, you can try this 576.83. Uh, if that does not work, if this does not work, in that case, you can scroll down. And for many users, this has worked 566.36. So you can even install it, click on view, download. and But make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, when you launch the game if you see this error like update your graphic card then you can click on play play and just ignore this and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam maker right click in the game select manage click on browse local files then over here make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click and then go to properties go to this tab Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work this time, you can put a check on the box over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. And then Scroll down and then click on Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on it. Now click on Allow an App through Control Folder Access. Click on Yes to Allow. And then click on Add an Allowed App. Click on Browse All Apps. Now go to the Game Installation Folder once again. And then open Program File 636, Steam Folder, Steam Apps Folder. Now open the Common Folder. Open the Game Folder. Select this .exe file. Click on Open. Now type in Control Panel in Windows Search Box. Then click on System and Security and then click on Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Allow an App or Feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Change Settings at the top. Click on Allow another app. Click on Browse and then again go to the Game Installation folder and then open the Game folder. And then select the Game EXE file. Click on Open and then click on Add. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. This is important. So make a right click in the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to do not overclock. So if you have overclocked your computer, you can set it to default and then close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI, Afterburner, Revert, you know, or any kind of overclocking application, you can just close it and then launch the game. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. After the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Uh, sorry, disable Steam Overlay. For this, make a right click on the game, select properties and turn off the option which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game. Turn it off and then check. If you have any other overlay application, like if you have Discord running, you can go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. Now, if you have NVIDIA app or GeForce Experience running, you can go to NVIDIA app and then go to settings. You will go to settings and go to settings and then turn off 
NVIDIA overlay. Or you can close all the overlay application and then check. Install Visual C. Now before you install Visual C++ file, update your Windows. So you can open Windows settings and then go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check still not working. Then in that case, you can install with this Visual C++ file. Now for this, you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down, install this x86 and x64 file. So download this x86 and x64. And then you can run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. And then let the installation complete. Make sure both the installation are complete. Once complete, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB, so I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So, we will open calculator. So, type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1, 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. 5, 5, 1. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have HOTAS, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected. If you have additional control, sometimes we have extra control connected, disconnected. Disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, you can close it. 
If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just uninstall the game. Now, after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.